This is the Ram Power Wagon, and Ram will tell you it is the most off-road capable truck in the land. Why? Because it's got not one, not two, but three differentials. There's a center differential you can lock that appropriates power to the front and the rear, and there are two diffs on the front and on the rear that appropriate power left and right. So, Ram put on a little demo to show us exactly how that works, and that is coming up next on the Fast Lane Truck. All right, Nick, so we've got what is the most capable off-road worthy power wagon that you guys make, right? Actually, it's the most capable off-road pickup truck. I mean, really, if you think about capability, it's you, you make a course and who can get through it. I don't care if you put a brick wall on this, I can winch the truck over it. So we own the title for off-road capability as far as pickup trucks go. But what makes this truck different is a couple things. One is the 12,000 pound winch. The other thing that makes it all very capable is lockers front and rear and no differentiation between the front and rear. So let's start with the transfer case. Transfer case in four wheel drive has no differentiation. It does not split front to rear. It's not a torque dividing type system. It is direct drive all the time front to rear, no matter what. So right now you have in two wheel drive and you have open differential in the rear, so really only one tire is able to spin. It's just looking for traction and it can't really find any right now because, well, we're on ice. So, and we're towed to, or strapped to a flower rig. So it really can't get anywhere right now. So at this point in time, it's just trying to find and figure out where it wants to put traction. So anybody in an environment or situation like this would now say, okay, now I need four wheel drive. So they put it in either four low or four high. We're gonna use four low because we wanna demonstrate most of the torque to the wheels and be able to demonstrate the slipping. And then we can turn the lockers on as well. Okay, now I'm gonna put it in four low. So oh, she's now, starting to dance. Now she dances around back and forth and you can move the wheels. <sighs> Because she's looking for traction, she's trying to get out, she's trying to pull that truck to behind her. So we're just kind of moving back and forth, meandering the truck. It's just dancing here. And it's talking to you in French. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is great. So that's the idea, is the truck's really trying to find its way out and trying to find traction. It's searching with all the wheels right now. I've got everything on at this point in toy. All the lockers front and rear. It's it's pulling as much as it can. But as I said, you could basically pull just with your own body mass right now if you had traction and stop the truck from being able to go anywhere. So the power from the engine just goes back and front wheels and, all the time. Yep, and if the gears are chains drive it. That's the right. way it goes. Now when you go left or right, now you have to have some manageability because you want the vehicle to be drivable on high traction surfaces like pavement, like concrete. So when that's the case, you want to have open differentials front and rear to make it more drivable. Otherwise it'll crab, right? Because the yeah, wheels it, won't... It, it, yeah. Yeah, when, you when, you go, when you go around the corner, what happens is one of the wheels actually travels a less distance than the other wheel, right? So the inside wheel doesn't turn as much as the outside wheel. And if they're both locked, the, the vehicle's going to try to crab. So the inside wheel does not go as far as the outside side wheel, wheel so yeah. it, it, and it skips to try to keep up with the outside wheel. So that's what's happening. And that's what happens in a locker system. In an open differential system, which is what you want in high traction or high traction surfaces, that doesn't happen, it makes it much more drivable. So in this surface though, or any kind of snow or mud or whatever else you want to find or yourself in, or you might find wheel lift and you want to tire off the ground, you want all four wheels spinning. So we put lockers front and rear and electric lockers, they're actual lockers, they're not limited slip on the truck. So you can engage both front and rear. Now you have no differentiation front to rear, no differentiation left to right, true four wheel drive. Or if you had the two wheel, six wheel drive. You got your drive. <laughs> when are you going to build a six wheel drive? Keep up with Mercedes, man. You know what? We actually had a concept truck some years ago that we built that did just that. It was a tank, man, I'll tell you. Hey, what happens, let's say you're on 
this kind of surface and you forget to unlock them. Does the truck know? No, it's, it's just direct drive. It realized it's much like a, what you'll see in a, a Jeep Rubicon system where it's just a bigger, more robust system. So you'll know because you'll it'll be like, holy cow, all yeah. of a sudden when you make a turn, this is weird. There's, yeah, you, the lockers actually will not come on unless you're in four low. Yeah. So, and if you're and you're only going to need four low if you're in, right. a, in an environment where it requires you to be able to creep and crawl. So the crawl ratio on the truck's around 40 to 50 to one. So that's really helpful for somebody who's got to get through an environment at a slow pace, but with a lot of torque. Was that fun? Absolutely, it is. It's a different experience because you're you're basically dancing and you're not used to it. I mean, I think a lot of people who've done a lot of off-roading are gonna recognize it as being in really, really slick mud and the truck's just kind of just meandering back and forth. Not necessarily stuck, but just meandering. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it looked cool. Thanks for doing that for us. You're welcome.